today we'll take a look at using FileStack to transform images without needing to write any lines of server code. For this, we'll be using a free account, and of course you can sign up free here on FileStack's main page. To give you an overview of what we'll try and achieve here, I have a code pen that I started up. It takes some URLs, renders them out as images, and shows them on the page. As you can see, these URLs have really, really large images attached to them. And these can be quite unmanageable if you're running your own website. What we'll do is use FileStack's image processing capabilities to change this into these zoomed in faces with circles around them that would be appropriate for use on a profile picture on your website. Let's head on over to the FileStack dev portal. The section that we're interested in is transform. And this gives you a great starting place for working with file stack image transformations. As you can see right here, there's a URL on the bottom and it's associated with this picture that's right here. The URL is in a format that always starts with HTTPS cdn.filestackcontent.com slash your API key that you can find up here slash with your transformations, and then a final slash with the file stack file handle. Now, in this case, this file handle at the end, this thing that starts with GAF, is actually a handle of an image that was uploaded to file stack. In our case, we're not gonna worry about files that were uploaded via the picker, but you can actually fill in the last bit with a publicly available URL. Let's take a look at some of these transformations in action. First, I'll click this to give us a starting point. Open link in new tab. And here's an image. And as you can see, when I zoom in, it's quite large. Now let's apply a transformation of resize on this image. I'll click apply. And as you can see, we've added this part to the URL that says resize width 500, height 500, fit clip, align top. And we now can click this and we see a new version of our image that's filled in. Now you can experiment with all the transformations that are on FileStack's website. For instance, if you have an old timey website, you might want to apply a sepia filter to the image. And I'll go ahead and apply that just to show you how that works. And again, we have our resize and then we have our sepia after the resize. So we apply the resize transformation and then we apply the sepia transformation. I'll clean up these extra windows and let's get into some actual code. So here's some code that actually renders out some images. And just to go through that real quick, we have four URLs up here and we have an image HTML element. We loop through the URLs and we render out divs with images inside with the image source filled in. So I'll go ahead and bring in some code that I've written off screen. So at the moment, this doesn't actually do anything, but the idea here is that we're constructing a file stack URL similar to the URL in the dev portal right here. So we have our file stack prefix and we have our file stack API key and we create an array with the prefix, the API key and a list of transformations that's an array. We also add an image URL to the end and that will be one of these base URLs that we see at the top. When we're finished, we join up the array with a bunch of forward slashes. That's standard for how you put URLs together. So let's go ahead and call this where we're rendering out our URL. Now our images have not changed at all, but the images are being run through the file stack CDN. And for those of you who don't know, a CDN is a content delivery network, and that allows images to be served anywhere in the world at approximately the same speed. So for instance, somebody that's in Europe would get a server that's close to them in Europe, and someone that's in the United States would get a server to serve this image that is closer to them. So we've already got some benefits to using FileStack. So now let's look at actually sending some transformations into this transformation function. So I'll create a const 
transformations equals and then open and close bracket. We'll go back to our dev portal and take a look at the resize functionality. So I'll go ahead and bring in a text buffer so that we can actually type out the way this URL is going to look. So we'll say resize equals width colon 500 height 500 fit clip align top and I'll grab this code and we can paste it into our code pen transformations so as you can see we're not actually sending our transformations into the transform function yet so we'll go ahead and do that and at this point we have images that are a much more manageable size now, one thing that FileStack can do that's actually quite impressive is actually find the faces that are in an image. Let's take a look at how that works. I'll go to Crop Faces and click Apply. And as we can see, our URL fills in with Crop underscore Faces, Mode Fill, Faces All, Buffer 100. I'll go ahead and grab that from an off-screen buffer. And we'll paste this in into our Transformations Array. So this is looking a little bit better, but our faces are actually different sizes. And that's because order actually matters when you're dealing with file stack transformations. So I'll grab this code and change the order of it. And with any luck, we'll have images that are a better size. Now we have slightly larger faces. Let's make them a little smaller. I'm gonna change this resize code. We'll make them 200 by 200. Now we have one last step if we want this to look like a great profile picture for our site, and that would be to add a circular mask. Back in the dev portal, I'll go to circle. I'll click apply. And as you can see at the bottom here, we have circle equals background colon snow. We'll add that to our code pen. And if you look very closely at this, we don't actually want snow as the background color, we want white. So with just a few lines of front end JavaScript code, we were able to change large and unwieldy images into something that would be appropriate for profile pictures. And that was without writing any backend server code at all. The final version of this is going to be available on CodePen and there's a URL on your screen to reach it. And again, everything in this video can be done with a free account on FileStack. Try out FileStack, it's an excellent time saver.